Let's go. Welcome to Inspirational Connection TV, where we connect, share, and talk about all the things that inspires, motivates, and builds confidence. In this video, I'm going to talk about, tonight I'm going to talk about mom, how to be a mom, being a wife, mom, boss. So stay tuned and share in the conversation. watching ITTV live if you don't know who I am and we have never met before I am some confidence and love so please drop a comment below like and share this video if you're watching a replay of it please do the same and also if you would like to get more inspirational and motivational videos don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you won't miss an upload and you will also help support my channel Right, and this is Haley, my daughter, and my son Prince will join us shortly. He's running around here somewhere. And just let me take a moment to thank all of you that have already subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate you and you, you, all of you, because I was able to reach my first goal of getting 100 subscribers within my 30 days. And I think they need a round of applause for that, right? You think so? Yeah. I think they need a round of applause for that. All right. Now let's jump right on into the word of affirmation for tonight. You ready? You ready? All right. Now, positive words are essential in our daily lives. That is Prince. We'll introduce you to him later. Positive words are essential in our daily lives. And using words of affirmations are powerful ways to command positivity in your life. So the word of affirmation tonight is... Are you going to pick and tell us? All right. Let's see what it is. Okay. Yes, you want to pick two prints? All right. So what does that one say tonight? I am com complete. Come say hello. Come on. There's Prince. So tonight's affirmation is I am complete. Now, when you use words like this, you can command it throughout your day. OK, and this will build your confidence. It'll tell you that you are complete. I just want you to say it, use it with power, authority and just command it throughout your day. OK, and this is what you will get when you use these words daily. Now, please be sure to stick around to the end of this video for more inspirational products that's available. OK, so let's get into another segment of Samantha's view and Haley's view. And, hmm, Prince view as well. All right, let's get into it. Now, one of my favorite quotes that I use daily to inspire myself is you are everything you want to be. So much more than a bala busta woman. Let your skills be made known. And a bala busta woman is a homemaker, one that takes care of her home. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start off with the scripture. If you, if anyone, I'm sure a lot of you know it, that that's watching or that will watch this. It's who can find a virtuous woman for her price is far above rubies. The heart of her husband that safely trust in her. Okay. So Prince is getting fussy. You want to go down? Go. Okay. 
okay? And the heart of her husband does safely trust in her, so she shall have no need of spoil. It talks about she does good to him and not evil all days of her life. You see, you get wool, flax, and she bring her food from afar. It talks about all the things she makes, fine linens and fine clothing. She give it meat to her household and portion to her maiden. And the list goes on and on and on about what the virtuous woman does. It says she riseth also while it is yet night and she give it food. She provide food. She consider it the field. She buy it um, and she buy it. it. She also um, she also do fruit with her hands and planted a vineyard. Um, in verse 17, it says she girded her loins with strength and strengthened her arms. She also perceived that her merchandise is good she, for her candle because her candle goes out not at night. And this is just me paraphrasing what some of the scripture says. She laid her hands um, to the spindle and her hands. Um, there's another scripture that says she's not afraid of the snow for her household, for all her household are clothed with scarlet. She make it coverings of tapestry. Her clothing is, is silk and purple. It talks about her husband being known in the gates, meaning that he is well put together. He's taken care of. She make it fine linen and she sell it. She deliver it um, girdles unto the merchant. And it says strength and honor are her clothing and she rejoice in time to come. She opens up her mouth and it's filled with wisdom. Her tongue is the law of kindness. Also talks about her children arise up and call her blessed. Her husband also, and he prays it her. It also says many, now he's eating his, the little one is eating the leaves off the tree. Okay, come on. Bob. Okay. And it says favor and the seat, uh, favor is deceitful. But beauty is vain, but a woman who feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. And that's the end of the scripture. Now, I'm going to just talk about how, talk about how it is behind the scenes. A lot of, a lot of YouTubers or, or even movies or even videos, we know that it's not always glamorous in what you see behind the scenes a lot of chaos it's a lot of things that goes on to make a movie what a movie looks like and a lot of times as um even of times we we tend to we tend to look at that and say oh it's it's everything is good or it's or it's easy but it, it it's really not right now i'm sitting here and i have my little one and this is and this is my prince, right? And either he wants to, the troublemaker, the troublemaker, right? Now he wants something that all babies want, right? And no, 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 you can't let, you can't let them see that on the live. You can't let them see that on the live, prince. It's only for you. It is only for you. It's only for you. It's only for you. Okay. Help me, Haley. You're going to hold this like this. Oh. Right. So, we all think that it is, you know, it is easy to put on these um, um, shows or movies. It's not, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of things that goes on behind the scenes that you don't see, you don't get to see, you don't, um, you don't sometimes don't hear about them. Sometimes they have funny clips when people miss their lines and they, and they show that part of the line, right? And they, um, they talk about it and they, they make fun of it, right? But the truth is being a mom, first of all, being a wife, you know, you have to attend to your husband, like the virtuous woman. You have to make sure that he's clothed, he's, he's fed. You have to make sure the house is in order, right? And then you become a parent and you have 
children and you have babies and babies needs all the attention in this world they need so much attention they need to have you whatever they want you you must be there and then you want to be a boss you want to have your own you want to be able to um start a business and yet you have to juggle all of these things that one how do you do it how do you deal with that how are you coping with that yes you have your husband or you have your family but not all the time they are there and you have to maintain you have to be able to to push beyond everything else and do what you must because you still have to be a wife you still have to be a mom and you want to pursue your dream you want to pursue your career you want to do these things right how do you do that so i'm going to start i'm going to ask my little my daughter some questions as to what she thinks or how she thinks that mommy is supposed to make it through doing all these things okay so haley Right, right. So do you think that it's easy to be first a mom? No, it's not easy. Why it's not easy? Okay, so I have to by myself. And what else? What else do you think? Um, being a mom, um, how ch how challenging, how hard it is. Is it like, um, would you say that it's a lot for mommy to do all the time? Do you think mommy is able to do that all by herself? No. And but do you think it's something that is attainable? Like mommy can do it if mommy had help. Okay, so would you be one that will help mommy to do that? And yeah. And, and God, of course, God gives me the strength to be able to do all of that stuff, right? So what do you think is the hardest part of mommy's job? Because mommy mommy's a wife to daddy, right? And then mommy's mommy to you and Prince. And then mommy's doing her business. And you see that mommy's trying to do her business, right? What do you think? What do you think, can, what do you think are some things that mommy needs to be able to do that? Set up my live and close. So, so, you, so are you going to help me do those things? So you help me set up the live and you help me clean up. Okay. So that I'm able to get to, to have it done with no problems, right? <laughs> what about you, Prince? What do you think you can do for mommy? Come tell them. What do you think? Look, look in the camera. Tell them. They want to know. They want to know. Everybody want to know. What are you going to do to help mommy to be able to do all three things? She wants to be a wife. She wants to be a good mom, right? A good mom. And she wants to be a good boss. And boss meaning she got to own her own. What are you going to do, Prince? Tell them. What are you going to do? Mm? You're going to do mm? You're not going to do anything? going to do mm? Mm? Nothing? Mm -hmm. Okay. So Haley. So one thing that I wanna that I wanna to ask you to do you think that having being a wife and a mother should a woman pursue trying to do be a boss as well? Like if that's her dream and that's her passion and she wants to be able to create and make things and um and have her own is it like sassy jones like you know how mommy loves sassy jones do you think that mommy can do that mommy can take care of you and prince and daddy and do that who's gonna help me do that god that's right and what do i have to do depend on him right and ask him for his help right and when i make time for him and i show him that I that what I'm doing is for a good purpose, then I can he will definitely help me, right? You'll help me anytime I need help. And what I, and I only what I have to do is do what? Just make sure that I do what? Do the right thing. Do the right thing. Yes. And what else? 
be careful of what I'm doing. So I want to make sure that whatever I'm doing, it's right. And God is pleased. So when I go to him and I ask him for help, then he will help me. Right? So that I'm able to, because he said he'll give you the strength. Right? He said he will give you the strength to do whatever. Hold it for me again. And then we're going to have to train Prince on how to be in a life. I don't think he knows how. I don't think he knows that yet, right? All right, there you go. He's practicing. He's trying to learn. So we're definitely going to have to do all those right things, and then God will help us, right? Okay. So um, earlier today, I'm going to talk about a little bit of... Tonight's live is going to be a little different than my normal ones. This is just an open... Um, I'm going to talk about some of my experiences, talk about some things that I go through to be able to do what I'm doing. Um, and this is just a little bit of what happened today. Earlier this morning, I got up and I decided that I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to have my set ready. You know, I come on every Tuesday and Thursdays and I do my live at 830. So I decided today I had another equipment that I got and I needed to set it, have it set up and ready to go. And while I was doing that, putting everything together, trying to figure it out. I moved one of my equipment and one of and my lighting, my camera, my mic and everything just tipped over and fell flat on the floor. Um, the light kind of cracked a little um, and the microphone dented a little. Um, of course, I'm like, OK, everything, I can salvage this. It's OK. Just move on, Sam. You know, it'll still work later on in the day. I am. Doing, I'm, I'm still setting it up. I'm not finishing it. I'm still putting everything together, getting everything set, ready to go. And my son, my baby, he comes to me and he, um, my daughter is trying to get him ready to, so that we can go out because she's a big help. Okay, she is a, a big help to me. And she got his clothes out and she's getting ready to get him, to get clothes on him. And he comes out to mommy and he's like, um, he comes and he's crying like he's doing now. And he wants me to pick him up, wants me to hold him. And I pick him up and I'm holding him now. And I have him in one hand and then I'm still doing what I'm doing and the, everything is still in place. I'm still putting it in place so that I can have everything right and ready. And while I'm doing that, my phone rings. And when my phone rings, I must answer the phone call, okay? So my phone rings and I am racing to go to grab the phone so that it doesn't you know the call doesn't get missed i'm trying to grab the phone it's not in far proximity i'm close to where the phone is but i still have to move from where i'm at to get the phone and i'm stretching to get the phone because it's in hand's reach and when i grab the phone and i go back to where i'm going the entire and my son is in my hands i don't know if it was me or my son but somehow the lighting and everything fell again. And this time when it fell, literally shattered. I had a teleprompt on there and it literally cracked. The glass shattered everywhere. The microphone now is not just dented. It's like completely like, you know, on the ground, there's dents, this, this, and it's rolling. It's a really heavy microphone. So it just literally went crazy. And um, at that point I sat, I literally sat down and I was like, Lord, this is not for me. I'm trying and I am doing it and I don't see where, you know, there's every day is a different challenge. Um, I started a live early today and the, and because I had to get a new microphone, the audio was not registered. So I had to start over on IG and I had to force forward my time so that I can clip it off later when I get to upload it on YouTube and on Facebook. So I could have given up at that point. I could have said, this is it. I literally sat down. I, I cried. I, I shed a few tears. And I, um. Okay. All done. All done. I literally, I literally shed a few tears. My daughter came over and said, mommy, what happened? And, um, all I could do was said, I don't know if I could do this. I don't know if this is for me. I don't know if I'm able to do this on my own trying to juggle everything but i sat and i and i thought about it i said you know what it's not easy and then all the thoughts came to me and honestly i literally had this topic already during the week that this is what i'm going to talk about tonight so this happening tonight with um, this morning with um with with 
everything crashing and me thinking if I can do it would just so fit in for the topic, right? So I decided, okay, I'm going to sit down for a minute. And I'm going to think about it. I called my husband and I said, I text him and I, I showed him a picture of the, 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 the crack and everything that was on the floor. I said, this is what happened. This is what happened today. This is just what happened. I don't know if I want to give up. I don't want to do this anymore because every time I try something, Every time I try something, something else happens. So maybe I should not, maybe I should not be doing this. And right now I'm doing this live and I am distracted. However, I persisted. And if what's another video that I talked about being persistent, I continued, I pushed and I got up and I said, okay, I'm going to go on the road and whatever is broken. If I cannot replace it, I'll just make it work. If I can replace it, I'll go ahead and repair so I can get the live done tonight because I must say what I have to say. And I'm saying all that to say this. It's not easy being a wife. It's not easy being a mother. And it's not easy trying to start your own. A lot of people are doing it. And a lot of people are. And if a lot of people are doing it that have done it before. And I know the starting point was not easy. And I know that it was not all crazy. And everything just happened. And it was perfect. I know that you can enter grandma. I know that everything is not always, it's not always good. So I came on tonight to let everyone know on my life that it's not easy. If you want to be a boss, if you want to be, a, if you're a, a wife and a mother and you are pursuing a career and owning your own and doing your own thing, continue to push. It's going to look it's going to look hard. It's going to be hard in the beginning. And tonight was not scripted. Tonight was not. I didn't think I didn't put anything down on paper. I did not put anything down. I am just going to talk straight from my heart. It's not easy at all. It's hard. It is very challenging at times. It's very discouraging at times. A lot of times I come on here and I and I talk and I express um so much inspiration i put out so much inspiration so much motivation and then i'm done and i'm like did i do anything did i reach someone did i say something that someone understood or got it or were able to pick up themselves the next day and to move on did i do that and sometimes i feel like i didn't i didn't deliver i didn't reach someone and that's my old, whole point my whole purpose is to be able to inspire, motivate. Okay, Prince. Okay, Prince. You got to stop that, okay? It's my whole, whole reason for being on here. So I'm just letting everyone know that watch my live, my YouTube channel. Support it. Support it. Comment. Share it. And be open because a lot of people are trying and they're not getting that support. And it's not because that they're doing anything that is, um, how can I say it? They're not, they're doing their best with what they have. And they, they have something that they want to share to the world, that they want to put out there. But for some reason, they're just not getting that, that support that they need. And, and yes, I, I feel that sometimes, but I know that everything takes time and I'm just asking all my viewers, my um, my friends, when you watch this, you may laugh at me. You may, um, you know, you may think, oh, Sam, you know, yeah, anything. That's fine. There are some people that are going to say, oh, Sam, keep pushing, keep going. Thank you. But at the same time, support it. Check out my YouTube channel. Like it. Share it to your friends send some topics to me um um comment let me know you did you did great you didn't do great don't say that so that's just how you build each other you don't have to monetarily um support but just by saying an encouraging word an inspiring word is all that is needed sometimes for for people that are in my position 
the 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 virtuous woman she did a lot she was a homemaker she made clothes she even went out into the field she did so much she took care of her maidens not only her own family but her maidens as well her husband everyone she took care of them she did it all and a lot of times we are built that way we as women we are built to do it all we are balabusta and more so we have the potential we have it we can do it doesn't matter how hard it is doesn't matter if you're by yourself you have to you have to pick up the pieces those glass that fell this morning i picked them up i put them into the garbage can and i moved on i did not allow it to stop me even though right now i'm talking and my heart is broken because i feel like i am pushing and i'm pushing against a wall that is not moving but i will continue to push right Haley? and the, my biggest support is sitting right next to me and the other one is over there fussing but i am asking i am saying it again just keep pushing Keep pushing, be inspired, be motivated. Be inspired and be motivated to do it. Doesn't matter what it is you're doing. Could be a, could be a career and you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, whatever things that you have to do. Keep pushing, get up. You may do something, you may go out on an event and all your products or whatever gets tarnished. Pick it up, clean it up if you can. And start again. Don't give up on something just because it's broken today. It's for the scripture that I talked about on Tuesday. We can may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. There will, morning will come. All of the heartache, all of the pain, all of the, the, the hurt, the emotions, everything that you go through. It will get better. But the only way it's going to get better is if you keep going. If you stop, then it will not get better. If you, if you stop and decide that I'm not going to jump, I'm going to give up, then you're not going to see what would have happened if you had continued. If you had continued. So you start a thing and it doesn't work out because there's so many, there's so many issues. There's so many distractions. There's so many um, challenge that you have to face right now. I'm sitting here and I have things around me that I literally had to go from place to place, store to store, online to online to be able to make it work within what I had. And it wasn't because I had someone that said, okay, come get this, get that. No, I had to research and I had to do, do go above and beyond than just going to a store and purchasing because Funds, um, in order to start out, you have to start off small. You can't just go, you know, all big. Everything starts at a, a smaller um, level and then you build yourself up. So I had to do a lot of maneuvering and, you know, figuring out what would work better before I did that and then do this and then do that. So I am very appreciative of everyone that's all that's already been, been watching me following me supporting me i really appreciate all of you guys and i just want to just just let you guys know that what i'm doing is not for my gain it's to be able to share with someone there may be someone right now that will watch this that will see this live that will see this video on the replay and is thinking about you know giving up or not continuing because something went wrong or they're not able to get that vendor or they're not able to get that license or they're not able to do this because they are they're not at the place for it yet just continue to push continue to hold on continue to to put it down on paper write it down my mom tells me all the time sam whenever you're going through it write it down because one there i'm going to be able to stand somewhere and say this is what i had to go through. i'm going to be able to pull up this video with my son making noise in the background, my daughter's sitting next to me and I'm talking and I am expressing how hard it is. And remember that when I get there, when I reach to a place where I have 10 people behind me right now, that's making sure everything is going and all I have to do is sit and talk. I'm going to say that I came from there and I'm going to be able to bring someone else along with me. So thank you tonight for watching. I really appreciate everyone that will come, that came on. And...
It won't rain always. It won't rain always. It won't always rain. Okay? There, there are going to be times when there's going to be sunshine. There will be sunshine. It will not always be rain. So I am not going to let today stop me and the days before I will continue to push. And tonight live was a little different, right, Haley? Do you have anything you want to say to them before we end? Right? And when they subscribe, they're supporting us, right? Is it a good channel? We talk about good stuff, being, being motivating, motivating them, right? And inspiring them to do great things, right? Great. And thank you so much for watching tonight. And before I go, I always do a, leave you with another inspiration. So we're going to do that tonight. And let's get the inspirational jar, which is right there. I'm going to let you pick that one too. And what, we're going to leave you with this inspiration. I'm going to pick one out and we're going to see what it says. You want to read it? All right. I want you to speak up now, okay, so they can hear you. Toward you. Expected, right? And very good. So tonight's inspiration that I will leave with you says, For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Now that is that is my motivation tonight. That this is why I'm going, because God already knows what's coming for me. He knows my end and I will not give up. I will not buckle in the middle. I will continue to push because God knows what he knows my end. And he knows that it's, it's an expected end that what I'm what he has for me is for me. Let me just see if there's anyone on Facebook. Giving up is not an option. We don't give up. OK, we rise up. We don't give up over here. The Matthews clan, we rise up. We don't give up. We rise up. We don't give up. Well, thank you all for watching tonight. And let's see if we can put that up here right quick. Okay, so that was the inspiration jars that I talked about. I did an inspiration um, affirmation before, and this is the... Affirm, inf inspirational, right? The affirmation inspirational. We, I do have these on my website at inspiredbysamanthamatthews.com. The link is down below. So you can have more of these on the um, on my website, okay? And thank you so much for watching tonight. Okay, and if, please don't forget to leave an inspiration in the comment section below or a list of topics as well that you would like for me to talk about right and if you found value in what i've talked about tonight please do not forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and check out my other videos that are also listed on the screen right now for more inspirational trip and thank you for watching and we'll see you again next week tuesday goodbye okay,